So I was scrolling through Twitter and I was trying to make a Twitter bot that would automatically post news to my account. And I kind of did it with every new YouTube video that I published on my channel. I made a video about this, how to automatically create the Twitter posts with the hashtags using chat, GPT, and Pabbly Connect. But after a few days, you're looking at these analytics and it's nothing special, like five impressions, 10 impressions, seven impressions, one impression. This is just not enough to grow a Twitter following. So I had another idea. Uh, let's go to Elon Musk's account. And he's one of the most, if not the most followed person on Twitter. He does own it. So I'm going to scroll down and he made a tweet today that says, the articles printed in newspapers are quite literally yesterday's news. All right, pretty clever. I'm going to click into this to see the comments. And this tweet has 9,630 comments. And we're going to scroll down to each of these people. And look at this guy, Shane Parrish got 5,900 impressions on his response to Elon Musk's tweet. Scrolling down, this person got 2,400. Donna Marie got almost 18,000 impressions, 44 retweets, 209 likes, 16 comments on her response. This person got 37,000 impressions. So it seems like replying to someone very popular on Twitter is the way to get your posts seen by the most amount of people. And you know, you just get one of your posts to the top of the reply chain to like an Elon Musk tweet, and that might gain you hundreds of followers, or at least hundreds of profile visits where you can have your link in your bio and make sales or drive traffic to your website or whatever. So. I think the goal here is to create a Twitter bot that automatically responds to people's tweets, especially big accounts like Elon Musk. So I figured out how to do it with Pabbly Connect. So I'm gonna close this right now. And now we're in Pabbly Connect. And this is what I call the auto tweet reply to Elon Musk workflow. So it starts with an RSS feed. Now, unfortunately, there's no trigger in Pabbly Connect for a new tweet on Twitter. So I had to kind of create my own. And we do this with RSS feeds. So an RSS feed is simply just a .xml page that shows all the updates to a dynamic website. So if I copy this right here and I paste it in, this is Elon Musk's Twitter feed. As you can see, we got some complicated code here, but if we scroll down, we can see this tweet that I just showed you. The articles printed in newspapers are quite literally yesterday's news. So this RSS feed is taking all of Elon Musk's most recent tweets. And you can generate a page like this. Twitter doesn't have an official RSS feed. So I used an app called rss.app. And I'll leave a link in the description below, but it seems to be free at this moment. You're just gonna click a new Twitter RSS feed and you're gonna paste the Twitter URL of the person that you wanna generate the feed for. So I just pasted Elon Musk's Twitter URL. So I'm gonna do that again. Go to Twitter. Actually, let's do somebody else. Let's do somebody like Noah Kagan. I click him right here. I'm gonna grab his Twitter profile URL. I'm gonna paste it in here, click generate. I'm gonna save this feed to my account and then it gets you an XML link. I'm gonna copy that. Let's paste it in here instead of this Elon Musk one. And there we go, this is his most recent tweet. When people have a job, their self-esteem goes through the roof. We can confirm that by going to his page, scrolling down past his pin ones. One hour ago, when people have a job, their self-esteem goes through the roof. So this is a live active feed of Noah Kagan's Twitter account. But I'm going to close this all because I already did this with Elon Musk. And for the first part of the workflow, it's the trigger. And when there's a new item in this feed, and it's that RSS feed of Elon Musk, what it's going to do, it's going to spit out all of this information for us. And the things that we're most looking for is the tweet itself, which would be in the title here. And this is one that I grabbed earlier from Elon Musk. At the risk of saying something controversial, Fallout New Vegas was a great game. So that was a tweet that he did yesterday. And the other important information that you need for this is you need his Twitter link to that specific post. So I'm gonna copy this here and I'm gonna paste it. And we have a link to his tweet. At the risk of saying something controversial, Fall of New Vegas was a great game. Because this is the most important part, we need to link his tweet if we're gonna be able to reply to it in Pabbly Connect. So we'll hold that for now. The next step in the workflow is we're gonna ask ChatGPT to make a response to that tweet. And I've connected my ChatGPT account already, and I'm selecting the GPT-4 model because it seems to listen to your prompts a bit better, even though it is more expensive. And this is the prompt that I found works the best. So feel free to copy this. I'm gonna zoom in. I go, you are replying to Elon Musk's tweet. 
He seems to troll a lot, so your reply should be equally short, punchy, witty, and intelligent. Keep the reply very short as the whole world will see it. Just make a simple comment about his tweet. Don't use hashtags. They are not needed. And if you punch that through, you should get something like this. So this was uh, the response I got in the test. No risk here, Elon. It's not controversy. It's consensus. So that's perfect. That's something that I would probably reply to that tweet, and it's been done automatically with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna save this here. Okay, step three of this workflow is we need to format something that we got in step one in order to send it to Twitter. And what we're doing is we're taking that link to the tweet that I showed you over here, and we're gonna take out this last portion. So we do this with something called a text formatter. So the text to split is that step one, that URL, and the separator is going to be the backslash. And as you can see, this URL has a couple backslashes, but we wanna grab everything after that last backslash. So the segment index, it's very simple. It's the last part of the text to split. So the last part is the 17152391, and that is the link to the tweet. That is the tweet ID. So when we save and send a test request, we get a response received, which is the result, which is that last part. And that's exactly what we need for step four. And then finally, we wanna to reply to that tweet. So the action event is a reply to tweet, and the tweet ID is what we grabbed in step three. We're grabbing that last part of the URL, which is the tweet ID. And the message is what we made with chat GPT in step two. And again, it's no risk here, Elon. It's not controversy, it's consensus. We don't need to fill out the quote tweet ID, it's not a big deal. And if we send that through, we get a success here. And I'm just gonna do this again to show you. Save and send test request. And we got the tweet here. And now I'm gonna go over to my account to show you that it went through. Let's go to profile. I'm gonna go over to replies. That's the tweet here. And if I scroll down, I did one earlier, but again, it's no risk here, Elon. It's not controversy, it's consensus. That was sent 20 seconds ago. So this workflow works. I'm gonna minimize this, I'm gonna scroll up. Now the fastest trigger that you can do in Pabli for an RSS feed is six hours. And you kinda of wanna hit this right when Elon Musk tweets because there's a better chance that your tweet is gonna be shown to more people when it's fresh and new. So I'm gonna to try to lower this. I'm gonna contact support to see if we can lower this to maybe something like 10 minutes. But in the meantime, this has to do, and again, a high level overview of this workflow is, step one is we create an RSS feed on the website rss.app, and we create it for the account that we want to track. And in this case, we did Elon Musk. Step two is we're gonna ask ChatGPT to write a response to that tweet that we get in step one. Step three is we're gonna format the information that we got from the RSS feed. Specifically, we want the tweet ID, which is the last part of the tweet URL. And we're gonna separate that with the backslash and we're gonna grab that last portion of it. And then finally, we're gonna to reply to his tweet. We're gonna paste in that tweet ID and then we're gonna paste in what we got from ChatGPT. So hopefully one of these takes off and you get a ton of impressions, a ton of profile visits, and then hopefully a lot more followers. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Peace.